Good morning, good morning, good morning. Viewers all over the world, welcome to the arena of restoration. Thank you once again for joining us as we broadcast to you live from Christ Voice of Restoration Ministries based in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Nous vous accueillons ce matin dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Dans l'église Christ Voice of Restoration située à Hamilton, Ontario. Nous vous accueillons ce matin, vous tous qui nous suivez de partout, de partout au monde. Nous vous prions de vous connecter avec nous ce matin pour voir ce que Dieu est en train de faire dans cette église ce matin. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Here at the Arena of Restoration, we are witnessing and receiving testimony that the God we serve is a living God. We are witnessing and receiving testimony of healings, deliverances, and lives are being restored daily. Dans cette arena de restauration, nous vous témoignons que ce matin vous allez recevoir le témoignage, ce que Dieu est en train de faire puissamment dans cette maison, des guérisons miraculeuses, des délivrances, des restaurations de familles. Dieu est en train de se manifester puissamment dans cette maison. Please, nous vous prions de vous joindre avec nous ce matin et voir ce que Dieu est en train de faire. The reason once again that we regard this part of our service very special is because of the word of God in Revelations that says that in order for us to defeat the enemy, it takes the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Encore une fois, nous voulons vous dire que la parole de Dieu déclare qu'ils ont vaincu l'ennemi par la puissance de leur témoignage et par le sang de Jésus. Ce matin, par la puissance de la parole de Dieu, vous allez voir ce qu'il est en train de faire. Dieu est en train de faire dans cette maison. Please, restez avec nous. On behalf of Christ Voice of Restoration Ministries and the man of God, Prophet Tom Tirivangani, welcome to Testimony Time. Par l'entremise de notre pasteur, Prophet Tom Tirivangani, et l'église Christ Voice of Restoration et CVR Ministry, we want you, nous voulons ce matin que vous vous joignez à nous et écoutez les témoignages qui vont se passer. Thank you, thank you. Let us welcome now our first testifier. Please help us welcome our first testifier. Nous accueillons ce matin notre maman qui est la première à témoigner la grandeur de Dieu dans sa vie. Ma'am, you're welcome. Tu es la bienvenue, maman. For our viewers all over the world, could you please state your name and where you're from? Praise God. My name is Ruth Steven. I'm from Nigeria. But I live in Hamilton. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Please tell us the wonderful things that God is doing in your life. Uh, I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. By this time last year, I was in the hospital, sick of uh, cancer. And uh, I want to thank God that uh, he healed me. I want to thank the whole church that uh, they were coming to see me in the hospital. And uh, I believe that uh, those who didn't come, they were in prayer for me. Because the sickness was so hard. The sickness that attacked me was so hard. When uh, I went to my doctor, they do x-ray for me. They didn't see, uh, they didn't see it that it was cancer. Until, until the sickness hold me very seriously. They rushed me to hospital. I thank... Uh, Mama Pastor, I thank uh, Mama Edda, I thank our father, because our father didn't leave me alone. He was coming to hospital with some members, the same thing, he was coming home to check me, he will send people to come and check me, she, he was also bringing food for me, food. Almost every week he was, they were bringing food for me. Thank you, Papa. Thank you very much. Thank you. May God continue to bless you. Mama, we thank God for your healing and we thank God that uh, you are standing before us. Uh, what we just want to understand, Mama, is when you say that God healed you, how do you know that this was God? What was the intervention? What happened? Can you tell us the process and why you are giving glory to God for your healing? Okay. Uh, when I was in the hospital, even when I have come from hospital, Many people sick of cancer, they died in the hospital. Even I saw some, somebody who came to our prayer line here. He said he had been sick of cancer two years. They were holding him. 
Very holding the woman, he cannot stand by herself before he receives a prayer here. So I know that it's God who did it for me. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we've had Mama here standing and saying that she was healed by God of cancer. Now, Mama, just one more thing. Who was the first person to tell you that you were cancer free? Was it your doctor or somebody else who told you that you were cancer free first? Okay, I, I feel strong because when I was sick, I know that I was sick. Now I feel strong. Even people who know that I sick of cancer last year, if they see me, they won't believe that I, I sick cancer last year. I'm so strong and healthy. Yes, Mama, thank you. But the question again was when, for you to know that you don't have cancer anymore, who was the first person that told you that the cancer is gone? Our papa told me the cancer is gone, that I should not have any fear, that I'm not going to die of cancer. Comme vous venez de l'entendre, notre see, maman est I... en train d'expliquer ce qui est arrivé. Maman était en train de souffrir d'un cancer. Elle a été hospitalisée et on lui avait dit qu'elle ne pouvait pas vivre. On lui a donné quelques jours de vie. Mais elle avait la foi en Dieu. Et on nous apprend, maman nous apprend que le ministre de Dieu, le serviteur de Dieu, lui a dit, prophète Tom Tiruangani, lui a dit, tu ne vas pas mourir de cancer, tu vas être guéri. Et maman s'est accrochée à la foi du serviteur de Dieu. Elle a tenu dans la foi pour dire, je ne vais pas mourir de cancer. Et aujourd'hui, elle est en train de témoigner la grandeur de Dieu qui l'a guéri totalement du cancer. Et aujourd'hui, maman est totalement exemptée du cancer, elle est en santé, c'est pourquoi elle donne gloire à Dieu ce matin. Amen, amen. Uh, viewers all over the world, because of the importance and the significance of this testimony, we now have Mama's daughter coming up on stage right now. She is going to help us with testimony on here, just to clarify and as a witness of what God is doing. Thank you very much. Could you please state your name, ma'am? My name is Joyce Olaye. Thank you very much, Sister Joyce. And uh, now we've heard your mother testify of how she was suffering from cancer and she was in hospital. And right now she's standing before us and she's giving credit to God for the glorious things that he has done. So we have you now here to support your mother. What would you like to add to your mother's testimony? Um, I would like to say that... Um I went to, I uh, left the hospital one day, went home to cook, because I normally cook and take the food to her at the hospital. So by the time I uh, got back there, uh, Papa, Prophet Tom has already been to, to see her at the hospital and said that the Lord had told him to tell my mom that she's cancer free. So my mom even forgot to tell me. So about three days after the doctors came in, they did the test and they said that my mom was cancer free. So I said to my mom, they said you are cancer free. And she said, oh, I know. Uh, prophet told me, I think she said prophet told me on Monday. And we were talking about maybe Wednesday or Thursday why she was now telling me that Papa had already came and told her a couple of days before that the Lord said she was completely healed of cancer before even the doctors came in and said she was healed. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I'm grateful to God. Amen. We thank God. Viewers, you've just heard the, uh, the testimony of our mother as she testifies and her daughter stands with her in support of the testimony that the man of God approached them first and told them that the mother was cancer free. And three days later, the doctors confirmed what the man of God had seen in the spirit. This testimony here speaks and that lets us know that the things of the spirit override the things that are physical and that whatever is written in the spirit will soon come to manifest in the physical. Pour une bonne compréhension de la témoigne, du témoignage de notre maman, nous avons vu présentement sa fille qui s'est joint à sa mère afin de nous expliquer exactement ce qui est arrivé et elle est en train de nous dire qu'à l'hôpital avant même que le médecin prononce que sa mère n'avait pas de cancer, l'homme de Dieu était passé 
trois jours avant et a signifié à la maman que tu n'avais pas de cancer, que tu étais totalement guéri. Et trois jours après, les médecins sont venus pour confirmer la parole de l'homme de Dieu. Et nous voyons maintenant que maman elle s'est joint à la foi de l'homme de Dieu avant le diagnostic du médecin. Nous voulons dire merci au Seigneur pour ce qui est arrivé dans la vie de notre maman. Et nous voyons que maman a sa main, elle a une bouteille dans sa main. Nous voulons savoir de quoi il s'agit. Maman, once again, we give glory to God for your testimony and we thank God for your testimony. And uh, just because we want to give the glory to God and the maximum glory to God, And we don't mean to embarrass you by any way, but because a lot of people know scientifically that cancer at a certain age becomes uncurable. Do you mind telling the viewers your age, Mama? My age? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know my real age. I was born during the Second World War. <laughs> wow. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. What advice do you have, Mama, to, uh, to everybody that might be watching you all over the world? What word do you want to tell them today? Okay, if uh, anybody has uh, this type of sickness and you know that people pray for you, just have hope that with, with that prayer, God will heal you. Uh, be trusting in God. Amen, amen. So our mother just said to us, trust in God. Viewers all over the world, we have this wonderful testimony of our mother who says that she doesn't remember her age. All she remembers is she was born during the Second World War. But today she stands here cancer free because Hallelujah. God delivered her from cancer. We give God the glory. Oh, nous rendons grâce, nous rendons gloire à Dieu pour notre maman. Notre maman vient de nous dire qu'elle ne connaît pas son âge, mais elle se rappelle seulement que dans l'ancienne guerre, la deuxième guerre, c'est là où elle était née. Nous donnons gloire à Dieu pour sa vie et pour ce que Dieu est en train de faire dans sa vie. Pour tous ceux qui sont en train de nous suivre, soyez fortifiés, car le cancer, rien n'est impossible à Jésus. Sister Joyce, we, we understand. Can you just go ahead and give your advice to the viewers all over the world? Um... My advice to everyone is, um, no matter the situation, um, stay by your parents, honor your parents, um, take care of your parents, um, respect the man of God, respect the anointing in the house, and um, have an open heart. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to now welcome our second testifier. You're watching Voice of Restoration TV. We are committed to changing lives and changing nations. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Voice of Restoration TV. And remember to make Jesus Christ the standard of your life.